let him make some changes in your life, how can you reject such an awesome candidate like this? Thank you so much. God bless you all. I think uh, I'm going to sing a little chorus. You all can join me. Amen. Amen. All right. song is very simple, uh, very short. You all can worship with me. I like this song so much. I'm going to sing, sing it in English and sing it. is my I wasn't qualified to run my life. All right. 
All right. But once he stepped in, that even when I didn't do everything right, he still kept the ship going in the right direction. Yeah. Even when I wasn't worthy of his love and his attention and yeah. his grace, that he still stepped to the front of my boat and said, Peace be still. All right. All right. Because I serve a God that does great things Amen. in my life. Amen. When I let his will be the at the forefront of my life, that's when he can truly be great in my life. Tonight, I don't want to take, miss an opportunity. And tonight, if you, if you maybe you have never made him the manager of your life, maybe you have never committed all of you to him tonight, this altar is open and he is here. The presence of God is in this place. And he's here to minister to you. Maybe it's just been a tough week and you need, need God just to touch your life tonight. He's here to do that. He's here to minister to you. Jonathan, I felt the power of God as you spoke. As a confirmation of your, the word that he placed in your heart to speak tonight. We need to remember who God is. And what he has done. And he has a... The largest that they tell us in the professional world to keep your resume to a two-page limit. If there's anything beyond that, nobody's going to read it. But see, my God is so great. It took 66 books to document his resume. And in those 66 books, it still says there's mysteries about God that are only revealed. So that means even, even even in the folds of the leather-bound Bible still does not contain all of who Jesus is. But as Jonathan's saying, he is my everything. He is my all. He's my everything. Both great and small. He's no respecter of persons. He doesn't care your social status. He doesn't care how little you have in the bank or how much you have in the bank. Because the neat thing about it is God just cares about you on a personal level. So I'm asking us collectively as a, as a family to come to this altar. Let's take some time and, and spend some time with Him because He's worthy to be praised tonight. He's worthy to be sought after tonight. And he's here to minister to you.